Hey guys, so paper one of the November resets uh, was yesterday and uh, here are the topics that were covered. So in paper one, the non-calculated paper, we had sequences, finding the nth term, we had multiplying fractions, types of graphs, congruent triangles, percentage profit, parallel lines and angles in triangles, a stem and, a stem and leaf graph, and the median range, comparing those, uh, pressure force question, so uh, calculating the pressure, uh, and then standard form, ratio, index laws, uh, cumulative frequency table and graph. We had a mensuration question on uh, density, mass, volume. So I think it was finding the density or finding the mass or something, you know, one of those types of questions. We had probability, straight line equations, uh, proportions question about Bs. We had rearranging formula. We had a direct proportion question you know, one of those ones that where they say y is directly proportional to x or the square root of x or something like that. We had a composite and inverse functions question, a thirds question, vector geometry, uh, area of a circle and sector. So we had, they give you the lengths in terms of x and you have to find that unknown. And then uh, we had a ratios question, which was quite similar to the examples I gave in my video I posted the day before which included examples from 2017 2019. So these I've highlighted in green were the topics that I suggested you revise and we picked, we managed to pick, you know, uh, we got four out of five. So the unseen topic that didn't come up with was algebraic proof, which was surprising. I thought, you know, they have put algebraic proof in the last, all of the last non-calculated papers. It hasn't come up. So possibly it's likely to come up in paper two or three. Uh, if you want to revise that, see my video from rest yesterday. And also we have an example here uh, from uh, another past paper. This was a uh, two mark question, I believe. Uh, so you can have a go at that. And I'll give some more examples of questions you can practice and I'll have work solutions to, to those in the description uh, in a document, a PDF put together. So. Uh, if you want to give those questions a go, then check out the work solutions. Uh, that would be good practice if you want. Okay, so what's the usefulness of looking at the topics that uh, we've covered? Well, it suggests what might come up already. So we haven't seen iterations. Typically iterations comes up in the non-calculated papers. So these are possible topics of paper two. Iterations, uh, see my video in iterations. I'll link that in the description for practice on that one. Compound interest typically comes up in non-calculated papers see the link in the description uh, for uh, my video on compound interest. Bearings, if I haven't posted it already, I've got a video that I've just made on, on a bearings question, a problem solving bearings question that you can check out. The next four topics I have videos on, you can check those links out in the description. So graph transformations didn't come up in paper one. It's a high chance it'll come up in papers two or three. Work rate problems didn't come up. I have a video on work rate problems and also I thought I had an example here. Um, if I don't put it in the video, then it will be in the work solutions below. So there's a video and a problem on work, uh, work rate problems in the description. Angles in polygons didn't come up. So I have a video on that and also an example here uh, of a type of problem involving angles in polygons. And this was a three mark question. So have a go at that. Uh, circle theorems has not come up yet. High, light, high chance that it will come up in paper two or three. Again, I have two videos on circle theorems. Links in the description. Uh, histograms hasn't come up. So uh, here I have some example problems. So the first one here is a three mark histogram problem. And the reason I wrote these marks here is that's indicative of the type of marks you expect for these types of questions. So histograms typically are about three mark questions. Uh, and this is an example of a three mark question on histograms. So give that a go if you want to practice histograms. Upper and lower bounds. Uh, here is an example of an upper and lower bounds question. This was a four mark question and typically they do go for four, sometimes five marks. Uh, you know, they're the type of questions where you calculate the volume or you calculate the upper and lower bounds of measurements of something. Sometimes it will give you, you know, a problem like this. Sometimes it'll ask you to find the volume of something and you calculate that volume based on the upper and lower bounds and then you round it off. 
uh, to a suitable degree of accuracy, just like this question says, a suitable degree of accuracy. So typically four or five marks for those. Enlargement, here's an example of an enlargement question. So that's a two mark question and they typically are about two marks. Um, so have a go at that one. If you need practice on that, similar 3D shapes. Here is an example of a question on similar three dimensional shapes. This is a four mark question. Typically these do, do go for about three or four marks. Um, this example being a four mark question, give this one a go if you need to. Again, the work solutions will be in the description if you wanna check those out. And then the product rule, uh, this is an example of a two mark question and they typically go for about two marks as well. Okay, so there are some topics, possible topics that might come up in papers two and three. Well, seeing as you have paper two tomorrow, uh, you know, that's what I, I'm focusing on, paper two. And things that I would be doing, if any of these topics you see and you are not feeling completely confident, pick one of these, pick a video, go and watch the video, practice some problems, or do one of those example problems I showed you and go over any of the those topics you need practice on. Remember to memorize your formulas, cosine rule, sine rule. Uh, there'll be a link to the formula sheet you need. Uh, if you feel confident on all of that, go through a past paper. So again, I've, ha I've got quite a few GCSE past papers. I feel like way more content than anyone could really go through to revise. So pick any of those. I think any of those are great revision. And then check out, if none of that is interesting to you, check out this other channel, the GCSE Tutor. I think that's his channel name. The GCSE Tutor, uh, something like that. Um, he's doing great stuff over on his channel. He's, uh, you know, producing content like crazy and he's got some great videos for help with your revision. He's been putting out videos specifically for these uh, November reset exams and he's uh, got, again, way more content than I believe any one person could possibly get through. And he, I think, has put out two hours videos, two hour videos for each of these papers. So check out his channel as well. All right, so that was a quick look at the topics in paper one and then the unseen topics, topics that you know I'm picking to come up in paper two. We'll see how I go. I kind of find it fun to predict what topics come up and see how I go. I got four out of five for paper one. Not bad, 80%. Let's see how I go with these topics. But really I'm focusing on you. I'm doing this to, of course, like help you. If you can just do one small thing tonight, even if it's just go over one or two of these topics like iterations and that helps you pick up three or four marks in the paper, that could be the difference between you getting, you know, a C or a B or a B or an A. I mean, what are the marks now? Six or a seven, seven or an eight or whatever, you know? So uh, hopefully this is helpful. Uh, let me know if there's anything I can help with in the comments. Feel free to email me and uh, yeah, good luck. You know, of course, there's nothing else going on in the world that could possibly distract you. Uh, uh, that's a joke, of course. Uh, I'm really feeling for you guys right now having to do exams in the middle of everything, but all the best. I'm sure you'll smash it. All right, bye.